So hi guys, this is Basha and you are watching Mastermind. So friends, this video is for all those students who are going to give their board examination, ICC class 10 board examination in the year 2020. And as you've already seen in the title of this video, in this session we are going to discuss how to score 90 above in your history and civics board examination. So let us begin and before starting with this video, one request to all of you that if you find this video helpful, then do not forget to like and do share this video with your friends. So let us begin. Well, so friends, the first thing that is very much important for your board examination, that is history and civics board examination is that you must be thorough with all the short question answers that you get in your section A, that is your part one. You have to study all the short question and answers from your history part as well as civics part. It is very much mandatory that you have to study that carefully because mind you, all the long question and answers, there are so many questions and it is not possible for you to go through each and every question in details and since it is history then you will have to write lengthy lengthy answer so friends study all the short question and answers please do not leave any short questions you have to study all the short question and answers from your history as well as civics from your 10 years the 10 if you see the 10 years you will find all the questions that have been repeated in the last past 10 years board paper so you can study from there and besides this you have to solve all the sample papers which are provided at the back pages of your book because most of the time it is repeated from the sample papers which is provided at the back pages of your book that means if you flip the pages of your book then you will find there are some questions there are certain sample papers so even if it is unsolved you have to try solving it try solving it out and you should be thorough with all the questions that is there that is both long question and answers as well as your short question and answers and besides this you have to study from your 10 years all the short question and answers please do not leave any of the short questions because it is the, the most scoring part so you have to study that carefully because if you talk about the long question and answers then there are so many long question and answers and it is not possible for you to remember each and everything in de detail so it is quite difficult so what you have to do is you cannot be losing any of the marks from your short question and answers you have to study history as well as civic short question and answers carefully and you cannot be losing any marks in that because mind you long question and answers is still there and in that you tend to lose marks so what you have to do is you have to study in such a manner such a way that you can uh, you are able to attempt and you are able to answer well all the questions that is there that is short question and answers from your history part now coming back to the questions that are there at the back pages of your book this is also important as i've already said and besides this telling you one more important thing that morning is the best time to study history and civics because since you all know that it is quite boring to study history and if you don't study it with interest and if you are already bored at the evening time when you are already bored if you sit with history then nothing is going to get inside your head as well as if you study in the morning then morning is the best time to study subjects in which you have to memorize so it is good that you study history subjects like history and civic biology in the morning time because morning is the best time to study all these subjects now another thing that is important for your history and civics board examination that means when you are preparing your history and civics for your board examination what you have to do is you have to keep in mind that you have to study some of the important dates that is there now it is quite obvious that you cannot you cannot accommodate all the important dates in your mind but what you have to do is you cannot be studying everything but whatever important things are there you have to you can make a list of that or you can also mark in your book and you can study from there all the important dates for instance you have dandi march for your INC that is Indian National Congress when was it formed well now coming back to your long question and answers now what you have to do is for your long question and answers you can be asked any of the questions there are many questions that you get and there are as well as there are so many chapters in your book so what you have to do is go through the last past 10 years board papers and whatever questions which are most commonly asked and which is repeated most of the time study those as well as you have to go through some of the important questions which is very common for instance you have dandi march by mahatma gandhi then you have unesco functions of unesco objectives of inc that is indian national congress and then you have some of the economic causes political causes for the revolt of 1857 what was the immediate cause of the revolt of 1857 and then first world war and second world war, second world war you have to go through all the questions that are there from this chapter long question and answers as well as short question and answers and mind you in your long question and answers you can either be asked from the second world war questions from your second world war or from your first world war but it is sure that you will get questions from either of this chapter that means any one chapter so you have to study that thoroughly and yes one more important thing which you have to keep in mind is that you also get picture that means a picture is given to you in your that is i'm talking about the long question and answers you get a picture and you have questions based on that is asked and you have to answer all those so for picture you have to go through some of the important pictures that means all those pictures which you find which is which you feel that it is important go through all the pictures that is there and last time it was Jallianwala Bagh massacre which was asked 
so you have to go through all the important memorials and all all the important leaders and all go through all those pictures so you have to keep in mind that when you are studying go through some of the important pictures as well and besides this please start studying seriously for your board examinations and for your history and civics board examination the best thing the best time that you can study the best time to study is the morning time morning time you have to memorize all the answers which you are not able to do at the evening time it will be better if you study it in the morning time and besides this there are other subjects as well so start preparing seriously for your board examinations because there is only a few days left now so friends this was the video that's all for today and besides this if you have any doubts or queries then you can write to us in the comment section so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and if you like this video then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel mastermind thank you